the 11th of August 2010, Ancestry.co.uk launches the England and Wales National Probate Calendar. This is the first time these 6 million wills and probate records from 1861 to 1941 have been made available online. We're really excited to be putting the National Probate Calendar online for the first time. This is a crucial genealogical resource which enables us to delve into our ancestors' worldly possessions, from heirlooms to manor houses, and understand about the relationships that surrounded them. We've digitised and transcribed the records, making them name searchable for the first time and preserving them for future generations. The collection brings together information from over six million wills and probate records. The information in the calendar evolves over time, but most contain the deceased's name, the date and place of death, and the name of the executor chosen to distribute the property. Crucially, and most interestingly for most of us, the calendar also details the value of the estate, whether that's 20 shillings or millions of pounds. Once you've found a relative in the calendar, you can use this information to order a copy of the will from the principal probate registry. This will detail exactly what your ancestor left and to whom, painting a vivid picture of their lifestyle and social standing. It can even throw up entirely new family members for you to explore. About a year ago, Ancestry.co.uk member Barbara Liddell bought an old fisherman's will at a car boot sale and used the website to build his family tree. I bought this old will and it was from a fisherman whose name was John Gillard Williams, who died in 1867. Through Ancestry, I managed to trace his descendants. It was a really sad story. He died at sea, and so I decided to find a little bit more about what had happened. After lots of searching, I managed to get in touch with his great-great-granddaughter, and it was really lovely to be able to show her the will that had belonged to her great-great-grandfather all those years ago. I'm sure having access to these probate records will help millions of people uh, find lots and lots of facts that they never thought they'd ever find out before. For over 100 years, the principal probate registry and its 40 district registries have summarised every case they've heard in a calendar book for each year. The collection that we're publishing today has been made using these books and it's thanks to this feat of record keeping that we're able to publish this fascinating piece of history online. As well as a vital family history resource, the calendar is a fascinating historical document in its own right. It contains information about well-known people of the period, from Arthur Balfour, Bram Stoker, to Charles Dickens. Of course, these are just a few of the six million names that are in the calendar, and from the 11th of August, it's available for everyone to search exclusively online at Ancestry.co.uk.